Welcome back. Now, as you know, we are celebrating a Madiba month. And as we head towards the 18th of July, it's all about your 67 minutes. But what we've done here at the SABC is take a look back this time throughout the history of Madiba's life. Here is a digital diary of downtown Nelson Mandela. Bastille Day, the birth of democratic France over 200 years ago, celebrated in martial style in Paris with President Mandela in the seat of honor. For France traditionally, it's a military parade to beat all military parades. With Paris in a festive mood, President Mandela had discussions afterwards with French Premier Alain Juppé. What we, we indicated the need for incoming investment, uh, gave a brief outline of the steps we're taking, and basically the Prime Minister felt that uh, he was very keen to see French companies coming into South Africa and Southern Africa. It's been a formal visit so far, specially planned to give Mr Mandela a breather after his hectic state visit to Britain. But for many Parisians, not much of the president. He's being ushered out of public view and protected by a huge security net. This is about as close as most French people got to seeing President Mandela in person here at his first function at the LSA Palace today. We were excluded from the function. The French have cut down on the number of passes available to South African media to report on the event. Conrad Berg. And, of course, that's our digital diary. This part, uh, that's what we're doing, for playing our part this month as we celebrate Madiba Month. Of course, on the 18th of July, all South Africans, people around the world, have been encouraged to do something for 67 minutes that has an impact on their community and society. And the question is, what will your contribution be on International Mandela Day? We know a little bit earlier our very own Leanne Manis is attempting to summit Mount Kilimanjaro under the guise of Sibusiso Vilani, uh, the first uh, black man to summit Mount Everest. I'm gonna, I've got to tell you, it is really an amazing thing that she's doing. Leanne is joining us on the line right now, and we know that it's to raise funds and awareness for young girls who miss 50 days a year at school because they don't have access to sanitary wear. Leanne, good morning once again. A little bit earlier, we spoke about just being prepared and being ready, and uh, the kind of advice that uh, Sibusiso Velani has been giving you, and the fact that you're very, very excited. But we can't forget that this is for a very important cause yeah, absolutely and that's at the heart of it all and um, I'm, it's amazing that we we're talking right now and I, and I wish I had some live visuals that I could show you I've actually just left a uh, podium that they've set up for us at a school it's en route to the um, to the gate of Kilimanjaro where we begin our Climb, but we stopped it for a school. I think I told you earlier where we were about to do a handout of sanitary tiles to the young girls that are attending this school here and a dignity pack to the boys, you know, that's got deodorant and soap and all things that will just give them, you know, the luxuries that I suppose many of them cannot afford. And, and we're here to do that. So we've just had the singing of the Tanzanian national anthem that is so very similar to our national anthem that was beautiful to listen to. And this is where we are right now. And, you know, I don't, I don't think there can be anything more inspiring before we begin this, where we actually come and we visually see what it is that we're doing, that every single step that we take in this journey is, is, is intended to make a difference in people's lives and young girls in particular. It's, it's stunning, I have to tell you. It's a beautiful, moving moment right now. Leanne, one of the other things that I be that's become glaringly obvious is that a lot of us uh, forget that there are people, young people, struggling with just the basics on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. I mean, that's, we take it so for granted, and I remember speaking at the send-off yesterday where we had the Minister of Sport there, Sakina Balula. We also had um, uh, Minister Susan Shibango. She was present. And, of course, the keynote speaker, Grasa Michelle. I stood up and I spoke there and, you know, just speaking from my point of view as to why I want to do this. And, you know, you're so right, Sam. Every time I go shopping, I don't even think about it. I just, I pick up sanitary towels or whatever I need for my hygiene and throw it in the trolley and it just goes in bulk. And, I mean, if you had to ask me how much they cost, I couldn't even tell you because 
that's how much I take it for granted. But some of these young kids and young girls, are, they don't have that luxury. So what they have to do is to stop being embarrassed and save themselves from being humiliated. Stay at home, rather, because sitting in a classroom with blood on your dress is not anything. It's not something anybody wants to go through. I know as a girl, we know that feeling, and it's not a nice feeling. So some of these girls, they raise, they are part of child-headed households, and they just, they basically, any money they come across is for food and for living, never mind buying sanitary towels. That is something that they cannot even think of, and they resort to using leaves and old cloths. And the worst I heard was some even use cow dung, and that's as bad as it gets. In this day and age, in the 2015, that is how our South African young girls are living. And that it makes me angry and sad at the same time. Obviously, we're encouraging all our viewers to SMS your name to 42513, and the contribution will be 30 Rand per SMS. I know it's not a competition, but there's also a lot of other celebrities. Who are you eyeing as the fittest in the group? <laughs> you know... Can I tell you something? We, we were standing in a group. Let me, let me break it down for you. There were 10 girls and 28 guys. There's 38 of us going and only 10 girls. And the girls were all standing in a little circle this morning, and we were just all confessing to each other how nervous we all are and how anxious we all are. And somebody came to us just out the blue and said, girls, relax. All they said to us was, you know, the very fit guys, those, the ego, the male ego, Sam, I'm sure you may have one somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, hey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, they, they said, don't worry about that. It's usually the ones that are the nervous, anxious, scared ones. Those are the ones that actually make it to the top. And it's the gung-ho guys that just want to get there, the ones that fail. So, you know what? I don't see any competition out there. I see this. As, it's, a, it's a group effort. And then I think when it comes to that last day, it's an effort that we just have to uh, use our mental strength to get through. So, wow. I don't know. I'm in for something special. I think so. And just, just to kind of enlight uh, our, our views very quickly, in terms of where the money that's being raised, where it actually goes to, Leanne? You know, there's a foundation that's spearheading it all. Um, it's called the it's Caring for Girls and the Mbumble Foundation. Now, a guy named Richard Mabasso, it was his, his, his sort of brainchild to approach the Nelson Mandela Foundation with this initiative. And this, all these funds go through to his foundation. And, you know, physically are... Each climber is adopting schools at the same time, and we are ensuring that basically what happens is that all of those funds go to those schools. We also bring sponsorships from a lot of the corporates. As much as we, you know, as individuals want to do it, and we urge people to send SMSs, which we do, sometimes uh, the reality is, is it's, it's not good enough because there is so much, there's so much to do. So the good thing is that through this year, and let me tell you, this year is the biggest biggest climb they've had so far. I think this is the fourth year. They were telling me this morning, last year they were 14, and as I said to you earlier, we've doubled that number this year to 28. So the shaft is loud, it's proud, and people are really wanting to get involved. I mean, it's as, it's as big as, you know, we've got, I, I personally, a, 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 a big company is sponsoring me to the tune of every single step that I take. So I'm listening to this. Wow. Every single step I take on this mountain, they're going to um, donate one pack of sanitary towels. And isn't that amazing? So that is absolutely um, we're amazing. going to count the steps. I'm wearing a Fitbit. And then however many steps it takes me to get to where I go to, please guard the top and down, <laughs> that is how many packets of sanitary towels they're going to, to donate. Isn't that amazing? Leanne, one final question. I want you just to personally reflect because on the 18th of July, You'll be on Kilimanjaro. You won't be where you were. I don't know where you were last year, but you, you won't be in South Africa. You won't be with your, with your family. What will that mean uh, on the 18th of July, going up Kilimanjaro? Just reflect for me very quickly, personally. On the 18th of July, and, and, and I speak hypothetically because every single person tells you, you don't climb Kilimanjaro, you attempt to summit Kilimanjaro. Those are the... Those are the right words to you. But the attempt to summit is meant to happen at 6.30 or 7 o'clock our time. We, we are one hour ahead of you, Sam. So at that time, we should be standing on the peak 
on the 18th of July, on Nelson Mandela's birthday, on a day a great man was born. And we would be looking up at the sun rising over the horizon. And many people that have done that tell you that their first reaction is to cry and to reflect on your life, to reflect on everything you've seen and experienced to date in your life and on the journey. And it is one of the most life-changing things that you can go through. And I can only imagine on that day when that happens, there isn't a more special day for that to happen to all of us that are climbing and particularly focusing in on myself. So this is going to be the most special Mandela Day for me ever. I, I, I don't think anything can pass us. Leanne, thank you very much for joining us. Leanne Manners, uh, about to summon Kilimanjaro. You can SMS that number. It's 42513. Your contribution will be around uh, 30 rand per SMS. Um, our